Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog. And once again, we're here to do another comparison from the trailer um, to a couple of things in real life. Uh, and then also some comparisons to comic book stuff as well. So again, this will be another speculation video and possible spoiler video for the movie. So if you don't want any of that stuff, I would say go away now. And, uh, you know, if you want to go in with more fresher eyes when the movie comes out, I totally get it. Um, you know, this is just me theorizing on stuff and then pointing out some similarities to comics and, and real life. Uh, but I don't want to, like, ruin anyone's experience either. So I'm giving you the option now. I would say walk away because me and Venom the Duck here are going to dive into our final video where we talk about carnage and some comparisons to the scene where he gets the lethal injection uh, done that sequence and later on when he starts using some of his powers and some of the locations he's in when they show the the shots of of carnage like the actual shots of him so uh, that's what we're gonna talk about today so again if you don't want to really get into that stuff or you don't really care to walk away now and maybe come back and watch these videos after you see the film uh, so without further ado venom the duck let's get the first post up here where we have Cletus Cassidy strapped down on the table in what is uh, typically called a death chamber. Uh, sometimes uh, there's a, I mean, I guess there's other names for it too, but uh, in San Quentin, they have rooms kind of like this. Um, I think one almost exactly like this, but I don't know if it actually gets used or not. I, I can't remember. Maybe if there's no audience, you know, to it or something. But in this case, there is an audience because we see people watching, uh, you know, Cletus get the lethal injection. Um, but notice here he's in the all white outfit. Uh, this is very reminiscent of the comic books uh, from actually from Maximum Carnage, the, the first issue, which is the first appearance of Shriek as well. Uh, but we have in that issue, Cletus is being brought in on a gurney type thing where he's strapped down one of his arms is loose because they're going to draw blood and run some tests on him and obviously we know that if you cut Cletus Cassidy the symbiote awakens because the symbiote is not like a venom where it's an external thing on top of Eddie Brock's skin Cletus Cassidy's uh, symbiote carnage comes from within him and so the scene where the you know the syringes and stuff are, are going into his arm you see blood being drawn that triggers the irritation, you know, for the symbiote to awaken. So then he starts freaking out. And this reminds me very much of the scene in the comic books uh, from Maximum Carnage when they draw his blood and he's sitting there on the gurney and he breaks free. It's nothing this extravagant, um, you know, because in this scene there's like an explosion type thing and uh, like the glass shatters out and the guard gets thrown or something like that. Like a lot happens in this scene <laughs> because of him breaking out. Um, but uh, but it's not like that in the comic books. But still, it reminded me of that. But then also, if you look at his clothing, like I said, on his pants there, you can only see DCR prisoner or, you know, prisoner, I guess. Uh, but it's CDCR. Uh, and that is actually pants that are worn. Uh, so here's an actual example. I, I, I didn't want to give away these guys' identities, so I kind of just showing them from the neck down. But if you look at their pants, it says CDCR Prisoner. Uh, their pants are blue, though, whereas in this movie, it, they look like white pants. Um, but that's for the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Um, so that's an actual thing. <laughs> that's actually real. Um, and like I said, here's some shots of that room. Uh, you know, if, if, uh, if I didn't put them up already, um, here's some shots of the chamber type room. Um, and then here's some shots of where if you have an audience of people watching, you get the lethal injection, you have that room too, which is a little bit more sterilized looking like the other one looks so uh, crude in a way. It's like, this looks very industrial. This, this little greenish, uh, tinted chamber. Um, and that's kind of what he's in is that kind of chamber. So that's why I think this maybe is more taken, uh, you know, its cues visually from that, because I think Andy Serkis says they recreated essentially that. Um, and there are blinds, if you can see, there are blinds on the other one, um, but uh, but they're not curtains. This one has a curtain on it, uh, but the one in real life has uh, just blinds that come down. So uh, yeah, I just thought that was cool. I just wanted to kind of put that out. Although the, the actual room with, uh, like you can see in this shot here, the inside the room that's at San Quentin it, like I said, it looks a little bit more sterilized, but there is a curtain you can see on the back wall, the gray one, and it'll rotate around. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to point that out. I just thought that was neat that they went to that level of detail for a scene like this. Um, that's really awesome. Um, and obviously we have Carnage now that the, you know, he's been cut or the his dr bl uh, blood has been drawn. Now he's transforming into Carnage. Cletus is turning into Carnage. But later on here, we're going to look at this shot here where you actually see the symbiote 
stretching really far from the ground up to a helicopter and yanking the guy out of the helicopter. I know it's a blurry image, but that's what I'm trying to explain what's happening uh, because the image is kind of blurry, but it's yanking the guy out, uh, which is which is intense. That's a lot. That's That symbiote's going a long way. It's already acting a little bit differently than Riot. Riot basically just, you know, made knives and other weapons and like maces and stuff and things that Venom couldn't really do, I guess, uh, or at least not at first. And so he just was more lethal because of that. But this is on another level. Like this is him stretching up and taking this plane down. And then there's this scene where he's stretching over and smashing through this, this SUV. But look in the background. There's another tentacle coming up behind the SUV. And there's like weird fleshy symbiote tendrils all over the building as well. I mean, that's really gross <laughs> and intense. Um, so yeah, that's that's something else, man. That's uh, that is a lot of power uh, that this enemy is, you know, this villain's gonna have carnage. Uh, like, and I, I think even Andy Serkis said he can fully change his body on a molecular level, so he can turn into things and he can like turn into mist even and move through stuff. That is very different. Uh, not not super different from the comics. In the comics, he could travel through the phone or you know in, internet cables and uh, and come out on the other side of a phone um, or phone lines. And then he could also travel through like sinks and you know come out on the other side and you know get out. So there's he's done creative things in the comics for sure. But this is interesting. This and the mist idea, like that's all very cool stuff. So, and you see his hand here, like coming around. Uh, it, this looks really good. That's actually a really good shot. I don't know where he's coming out of in this instance. Um, I can't tell. Uh, there's like, like kind of smoke coming in. So maybe this is, a, I don't know where this could take place. Maybe something's burning. Maybe this is the scene where he's ripping down all the vehicles. Uh, it's hard to say, but this shot here, this first shot, again, it's a little blurry because I had to get this particular angle from it because I wanted to see what was behind him. If you remember in my trailer reaction, I said that what's behind him is possibly another rocket ship because there's scaffolding on the right there. Um, turns out I was wrong about that, definitely wrong about that. This also takes place inside the church. Behind him is a giant, you know, uh, piece of church glass, uh, not the circular one that we see in the next shot, uh, which is this one here. Um, you see that, and that's probably at the top of the church. But then when you go underneath that, it's probably this, um, you know, oval shape that's behind them um, or like giant window shape that's behind them that has other church glass there. And then if you look on the right above the scaffold, way at the top on the right, you'll see another like uh, window up there that's possibly church glass. So it looks like this is just um, a potentially very exaggerated church design. I, they did this in... I think it was, because uh, I know they filmed in a real church. We were there in San Francisco when they were doing that. Um, I think that, that filmed like two days after I left San Francisco. Um, but I, you know, obviously we had people who went went there and took pictures of the, the church and stuff. And we talked about that before. Um, but, uh, but so they showed inside the church too. And I don't remember there being any scaffolding. So I'm thinking that much like Daredevil, the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie, when there was a fight at the end of that movie in a church, there was a lot of CGI going on in that church because they, they, I think most churches won't let you film hardcore things inside of them. <laughs> like I know Boondock Saints wasn't allowed to, I think, well, no, they, they went to like 20 churches before one finally said yes. Uh, but so it sometimes it's hard to get access into a church. So that's why this makes sense that some of this background looks, you know, digitally done um, on top of Carnage looking digitally done, which is why I think my first reaction was, wow, this shot doesn't look that good. And it's probably for that reason. They're probably still working on the background. And I think once the background pops, that'll help the character pop a little bit. Um, but this apparently he's backlit. So I can't tell if it's a helicopter light shining through or if sunlight's coming through um, in the background because it looks a little gold. But uh, but either way, you know, hopefully uh, this scene, it looks like both shots, this shot here and this shot are both from the same sequence of the movie, um, which is which is, uh, you know, that means we've barely scratched the surface of seeing Carnage doing anything in this movie because we know from the filming, he does stuff out in the middle of the street with some of the cops. He picks a cop up, slings him around. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't imagine like all the goodies we're going to get, uh, you know, hopefully some, at least a couple of them in the next trailer. And then hopefully we only get one more trailer, like wait till like, you know, early August, drop another trailer and then just do a couple like, you know, small TV spots or, or something like that, like 30 second things um, in uh, October, September, September, I guess in September leading up to the movie, I would just do like 30 second things. Um, but anyway, that's, that's just, I didn't want to make the video on this cause I just thought it was cool that they actually had, um, 
actual references for the the death chamber and the uh, the lethal injection chamber um, I want to talk a little bit about the comparison to the comic book panel that I saw and then I also want to discuss a little bit about Carnage's powers and just how intense and and uh, and and OP he might be like he might be like a real challenge almost to the point where you add shriek on top of his abilities and venom is a major underdog in this movie and that's good i, I always like venom as an underdog so i'm looking forward to this but those are my thoughts on this scene if you made it to the end of this and you have some thoughts on any of the images i shared here or theories please let me know down below and as always we'll continue our conversation down there and that's it for me i'm done filming for the night uh, and my phone is now at like 45 percent uh, battery life so that's good it means it's charging pretty fast um but it's almost four in the morning and i gotta get some sleep uh, at least a little bit before my surgery tomorrow so uh even though i'm gonna get plenty afterwards but uh, but i appreciate you guys going through these with me hopefully i get these up you know soonish i'm, I'm kind of planning to post these up like in a week or two from now so hopefully they go up around then that way i have a, a at least a week or two after my surgery to rest plenty and all i have to do is edit stuff which is you know be easy to do i can sit in a chair and edit these so uh so hopefully you guys like them and if you did uh you know let me know and give us a like you know share subscribe all that fun stuff and i will definitely see you in the next one thanks so much see you in the future peace